Welcome all to a new video on the Tutor LMS Academy series. Today, we're going to go over the monetization settings, a very important portion of any LMS. We will see how you can set up a monetization structure between your instructors and how you can start earning from your courses. So let's get to it. First up, we can select your preferred e-commerce engine. So Tutor LMS supports WooCommerce, Easy Digital Downloads, and Paid Memberships Pro, among many others. We're going to go ahead and select WooCommerce since we have that installed. So this option only comes up once we select WooCommerce as it is a specific setting to that. So we can enable to automatically complete WooCommerce orders, meaning that an order will automatically complete when someone purchases a course. Up next, we have revenue sharing. So revenue sharing is one of the key features of Tutor LMS. Enabling this will allow you to share revenue generated from courses with course creators and instructors. Then we can set the sharing percentage. So here you can set a sharing percentage between you, the admin and instructors on your site. So naturally you'd want to keep your instructors happy with the revenue while also keeping a cut to yourself. As it's said here, an instructor would take 80% of revenue and the admin would get 20%. Then we have the option for showing statement per page so set how many statements you want to be displayed per page on the statements tabs in the front end. So if we set this number to two, we can see on the front end here that there are only two statements being shown per page. And lastly, we can enable guest mode. Enabling guest mode allows a user to place an order without having to be signed up on your site. After that, we have the fees settings. So fees are deducted directly from the purchased amount and act as a first mechanism that controls your cash flow. This is very useful as fees can help cover fixed costs such as hosting fees, subscription fees, and the cost of buying Tutor Elements Pro. So of course, you would want to state that on the free description section here informing instructors of the fees that you are deducting. Then you can set the fee amount and type that you want to be deducted on your site. So there are two types of fees. Fixed fees are predefined amounts deducted directly from the purchase regardless of the purchase price. And percentage fees deduct a set percent from any purchase price. Before we move on, just to explain this a little better, let's quickly go over how all this works. So let's say a purchase of $10 is made on your site. If you had set a fee percentage of 30%, then $3 would be deducted from that. And from the remaining $7 revenue, the admin and the instructor will receive their cut according to the sharing percentage that we had set earlier. And lastly, we have the withdrawal settings. So we can set the minimum withdrawal amount to be deducted here. So an instructor must first accumulate this amount that you set here before they will be eligible for a withdrawal. Then we can set the number of days an instructor must wait to withdraw their money. And remember, this is after they have accumulated the minimum amount to be withdrawable. By the way, this number cannot be set to zero. So instructors need to wait at least one day before a withdrawal can occur. Then we can select the types of withdrawals you allow to instructors. So you can have multiple options like bank transfer, e-check or PayPal. And lastly, you can inform your instructors about specific banking details. So for example, how long a bank wire might take and so on. So you want to make this as clear as possible for your instructors. Well, there you have it. That's the monetization settings of Tutor LMS. And we hope that this video will help you understand 
how the monetization in Tutor LMS works. If you like this video, be sure to drop a like and let us know in the comments if you have any feedback. I'll see you all in the next one.